Today I just want to make a video on three of my project guns that I'm working on. You have seen one of them in a video before. Anyways, we'll start with the Lee Enfield. I've always wanted a Lee Enfield number four. Finally found a good one at uh, a good price. Problem was, it was sport rise as you can tell from the stock here. So I took a bit of time, found a few pieces, and I brought it back to basically the original. The matching still has a little bit to be worked on, but this is getting darker, so soon I'll have a close to matching. The original gun, as I said, was sporterized. It was a Savage that uh, had been factory refurbished. Thing fires really well. I even changed the rear sight, which was just a standard one, back to a uh, machined flip up sight. So now it's basically the configuration I wanted it. Unfortunately it does have the screw going through it. I was thinking about getting rid of that but I don't think it really matters much. You expect those screws sometimes and it will never look quite right anyway even if I do get rid of it. So I might just leave that. The next project on here that's almost finished is my Remington Model 10 12 gauge. You've seen a video of me showing how it works and how to take it apart. The stock on it was pretty messed up, as you could see. I have cleaned off all the crap on it because I am planning on repairing it since it is the original stock for it. But in the meantime, I wanted a shooter, so I bought myself a reproduction stock which needed to be fitted. It took me a while to get it fitted because of how the bolt slides back into it. It was catching on stuff. Now it still needs fitting on the outside, as you can see there. But that shouldn't take as long because it's just straight sanding. It also shoots really well. I tried it this weekend. And it cycles really well too, so I didn't get a bad one. Lastly is an FN Browning semi-automatic 22. Another good deal. Problem was has a chip here and the wood's a little bit on the uh, ugly side, so I'm gonna have to clean that up. I've just taken it apart, cleaned it, tried it out, and that shoots well also. And I will finish the stock again do the repair that's there and clean it up a bit and then I should have a nice 22. I originally wanted to make one of the Delisle 22's out of it. You could look it up if you want to see what that looks like. Problem is I'd have to cut the barrel and cutting the barrel below 18 inches or 18 and a half inches in this case automatically makes it prohibited in this country so I'm not going to do that. It was just going to be a reproduction looking one, so it would have looked like the thing with the suppressor over it, but not a real suppressor. The barrel would have gone right through the whole thing. Still, it would have been 12 to 14 inches long, the barrel, which makes it prohibited in Canada. Anyway, so that's not going to be done, especially since it ended up being one of the older model top loaders. So, I'm not going to mess with this thing. I'm just going to take care of it bring it back to what it was supposed to be and just enjoy shooting it because it does shoot really well also anyway so that's what I've been up to for a while and uh, they should actually work out to be real nice and I'll put up videos of me actually shooting them and show them how well they do work eventually anyways I hope you enjoyed this video please comment subscribe if you want to and uh, thanks again for watching.